hello beautiful thank you for clicking my video i have another wig show and tell for you all today this wig is from my first wig if you're interested in this wig during the video or by the end of the video the website link to this wig direct store and social media links will be in the description box love when you order you receive some goodies in the box i got two hair clips a rat tail comb a wig knot healer it's in the shade medium but i don't want to experiment with something new today so i won't be using it the wig comes stored in this my first wig storage bag inside you not only receive your wig but you get a wig cap that comes with two pieces and a slip with your order information on it i will list my order information in the description box here is a close-up on inside of the wig. It comes with a 13 by 6 parting space. Behind the parting space, you get two combs, another comb in a nape area with adjustable straps. And they also inserted a adjustable elastic band and you can adjust the hook setting so it's not too tight, not too loose. The wig is made on a stretch fit material and the lace is light brown soft lace. As for the hair texture, the hair texture is yakky. This is what the wig looked like straight out of the package. Here's a close-up of the hairline. The hairline comes lightly pre-plugged and the knots come bleached. They did a great job on bleaching the knots and the wig come like this for all customers that order. Like they prepared the wig for you before it comes. I would like to straighten the hair route a little bit more to my liking. So I'm gonna go in with my Babyliss Prima 3000 on a temperature 410 degrees. When straightening hair, I usually do smaller sections, but for this, I'm like, I think I could get away with doing some big sections and flat ironing it. So I'm just showing you guys how the hair straighten and it straightens beautifully. I don't have any product on the hair. I'm just going straight in with the Babyliss Prima. When doing the frontal, I go in with the comb first, and then I go in with the flat iron. After I go in with the flat iron, I'm gonna take some My First Wig Flyaway Tamer and just put some of this product lightly on the roots of the hair, especially pressing down some of the flyaways. Then I'm gonna go in with my hot comb and I'm gonna put the hot comb on the highest temperature setting, then go in and just press down the roots of the hair. After I'm all done with the right side of the frontal, I repeat the same process on the left side of the frontal. So now it's time to cut off the extra lace in the front and I'm going in with a eyebrow razor, carefully cutting right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. Try your best to not cut into the hairline because if you cut into the hairline, that can mess up the shape of the hairline and also cause shedding.
There's lace in the nape area as well. Be sure to cut that off because we do not need it. And here I am. It's time for the install. On the inside of the wig, I lightly applied some Maybelline Fit Me powder underneath the lace, but only to the spots that we're showing. So that's the parting space and hairline. Right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps. And on the adjustable elastic band, I hooked it on the second hook. Underneath the wig, I'm going in with a nudish brown color stocking cap. The hairline of the wig is longer than my hairline, so I'm going to go in with some eyebrow scissors and cut off a little bit of the air tabs. Now I'm going to take this olive oil super hold spray and spray one layer of this on top of the lace. I'm only going in with one layer because I'm doing a wig show and tell to show you guys what this wig look like for anybody that's curious or if you're just looking for a new style. Or you could just be clicking to support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But after I go in with the spray, then I go in with the blow dryer on the warm setting and blow dry the hairline until it's completely dry. And look at that. That's not a bad melt at all. It looks pretty natural. Okay, my first wigs. Y'all doing it again. I see ya. I see ya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the rat tail comb go right on through. I'm not even starting from the ends and working my way up to the roots. I'm starting from the roots, working my way down to the ends and the comb is going through oh i love me a good yaki texture wig it's something about that highlight in the front that's really making the wig pop but now i'm gonna go in with my maybelline fit me powder in the shade 360 and i'm going to lightly apply some of this powder on top of the lace just so it could help hide my wig cap underneath and help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp child to y'all see this wig how gorgeous is this wig i love it and it's very beginner friendly my first wigs was not lying about that part down to the shine down to the movement it's just gorgeous so again the hair texture is on the yaki side I love how it comes with the skunk stripe. And what's beautiful about the skunk stripe, it's one solid color, it's not brassy. And I love how the roots fade into the color. It's not a harsh line of demarcation, really pretty. 
So the skunk stripe, I would say, is about a color number 27 to a color 30. The black part of the hair is more on the natural black side. I wouldn't say it's jet black, but this is a virgin hair wig. So if you want, you can always go in and dye the rest jet black. I know natural brown hair bothers a lot of people. But anyway, back to the wig. When I put the hair behind my ears it's still gorgeous it is still giving if you would like your lace to have more of a melt then i recommend tying down your lace for probably about an hour maybe even 30 minutes with the blow dryer and that should help melt the lace even more and to me the best melt you could ever get is when you tie the lace down and go to sleep the next day that thing is super melted the lace color on this wig is light brown. It's called their New Air Lace. It's supposed to melt into the skin easily and mimic a scalp. The only work you really have to do with this wig is getting the lace to match your skin and going in with the flat iron and bumping out the hair. This 13 by six parting space is very deep and I love how deep it looks because it makes the wig look really natural. The cap size of this wig is cap size two. And this one is more of a 22 inch head circumference to a 23 inch head circumference. I usually get their cap size one, but the cap size one is very snug on my head. I like, I like cap size two because of the extra snug fit room I have in there. So if your head is 23 inches in circumference, then you are in for the clear. It has room in here, boo. When I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and you can't see my wig cap underneath. As for the hair, the hair comes pre-cut. I personally like the cut. I do look a little choppy at the end only because I put all of the hair to the back. But if you're not comfortable with the cut, if you get the wig, you can always go in and straighten up the cut yourself. When I was styling this wig, I did not get any tangling at all. I did get shedding, but shedding was low. It was not heavy shedding. I am so happy to have this wig because it's gorgeous. I'm feeling it. Definitely beginner friendly. I honestly recommend. If you made it to this part of the video and, you know, if you feel like chatting with me, let me know in the comments if you would try this wig or what you think of this wig. I also like the little flip over right here I got going on. I don't want to flip it over too much and lose my middle part, but I'm pretty sure with a side part, this wig still will be gorgeous. The color combo in the front with the highlights would just look boom and banging and ooh. So that's pretty much all I have to say, you guys. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.